Hi, I'm Laura, and I'm on the Chrome Accessibility team at Google. In this quick video, I'm going to show you some ways to search and how to navigate the address bar in Chrome using only your Mac keyboard. Let's get started by looking at how to enter search terms and web addresses. First, I hold down Command and press L, as in location, to put my cursor in the address bar. We also call this the Omnibox. I can type a web address here and press Enter to navigate to that page. Or maybe I want to do a quick web search from anywhere in Chrome. To do this, I can hold down Command and Option and press F, as in Find. Did you notice that now it says Search Google in the address bar? Now I can type a search term and press Enter. A quick fun fact is that I don't even need to press Command Option F to be able to search Google here. I can actually just enter the search term directly into the Omnibox and press Enter, and that will pull up the search results for that term. I can even do things like quick math equations and simply arrow down to see the answers without even leaving the page. Pretty cool, right? Now, with this site open, maybe I want to find some specific text on the page. To do this, I press Command F as in Find, and the Find box opens in the top right corner of the Chrome window. From here, I can type my search text into the box and press Enter. Now you'll see that my search term is highlighted on the page for better visibility. And I can press Enter to jump to each match on the given page. To jump backwards, I hold down Shift and press Enter. I'll quickly mention that there's another way to navigate through the matches, in case you prefer one way over the other. I can press Command and press G, as in Go, to jump forward through the matches on the page or press Command-Shift-G to jump backwards. If the match is a link that I want to click, I can press Control and Enter to open it in the current tab. Remember how Command-F opened the search box? I can close it by simply pressing Escape. Keep in mind that Escape is always handy for closing things like menus and dialog boxes. Keep in mind that you certainly don't have to remember all of these shortcuts we've gone through today. Just focus on the ones that you find most useful for now. So that's all for the basics of searching and using the address bar. To provide our team with feedback or ask any questions, join our Google group and send us an email at chrome-accessibility at googlegroups.com. To learn more about Google accessibility as a whole, check out google.com slash accessibility. To sign up for user studies, to explore new features or help shape Google products, go to google.com slash usability. Also, look out for additional videos about more ways to make Chrome easier to use. Again, I'm Laura, and on behalf of myself and the Chrome Accessibility team, thanks for watching. And don't forget, we have a handful of other videos about Chrome accessibility. Check them out here.